Let's make a simple collage. Hello and welcome to the treasured page. I'm Melanie and this is our quiet crafting space. Today I'm following along with Junk Journal July and today is prompt number 11 and that is stamp. And I thought I'd just take things very literally and just start stamping with my rubber stamps. So I have been putting those down onto some vintage paper. I've just taken some rubber stamp images and I've put them all on different papers here. I've got some scraps and all sorts of bits so uh, yesterday I was doing scraps and I made a little scrappy collage here and this is what I've got so far with the window and those were the scraps and that was number nine so that's how that's looking at the moment. That's a little tuck point there. So I'm just going to do a very simple flip, but this could be a tag, this could be a belly band, this could even be a bookmark. So it is just a very straightforward, easy peasy thing to do. So you would take some rubber stamps and you would start stamping down on some paper that you deem to be of nice quality or texture or something about it. This is vintage note paper and I am simply going to take my glue stick and start putting down the glue. I'm not going to take this page out of the journal, I'm just going to do it. This is my very simple, very quick little journal entry for today. I'm just laying that down, putting glue all the way down so this is a fold out but it could become a pocket if I decide to do that. And then I've got this one here, so just gluing that down and I think, oh that's Maggie, I'll just put this there so that we've got that. And then I've got this one which was a stamp of a tape measure, I'm going to add that in there. And then I'm just going to see if I can fit these in. I don't want the yellow, although I did think I'd bring in the yellow to connect with that page, but I, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to keep it all in a neutral tone. So if you've got any papers in neutral tones, you can just add a little stamped image. Just look at your scraps, put stamps on them, and then turn them into a collage. So I've got this one. This was just stamping onto some paint-splattered paper. And... We'll add that in there and then we can be really, really simple about this if we want to. We can just call this done and say that is prompt number 11. How easy peasy was that? There we go. But da And then what you could do is just glue that shut. In fact, let's, let's just keep things simple today. And we are creating a tuck by folding that in on itself, gluing that shut, and there we go, that's it. Now that could have been journal space, but I think that it's quite nice to slip extra paper in there. And if we want to follow with a prompt and put on something like a rose here, I might do that. I'm trying to bring this pink in. I've been rebelling against the pink a bit because I've had the yellow and the green. I'm not sure what's going on with that page, but I so love this one and this one and this one. They were so much fun, uh, but not a lot of pink coming in. And I know that's the challenge. So I'm going to add it in here like that. So this is a washi tape sticker that I'm trying to use up. And we'll just add that in there. There we go. Really pretty. Bring in a pop of colour in a vintage tea rose. I'm just fussy cutting this leaf shape out a little bit more and I think I'll add those in there as well. Just add those leaves in there like that. Now because I've put this page in there I could go and sew round that. I think that might look nice so I'm just going to do that. OK 
Okay, back from the sewing machine and I'm reminded that I'm doing prompt 11 and just to show you that prompt 10 was here and I've added the stamp there so that is for threads, just uh, that cool cover. Great idea if you wanted to make a mini journal cover, a little notebook, just using strips of fabric and sewing across and uh, so it looks like that on the other side. So that was prompt number 10. And then going back to what we're supposed to be doing today, we've got the stitching across there, all haphazard, and I went down there, went a bit wonky, wibbled and wobbled, and the whole thing looks quite fun. So that is how that's now looking. And then I've got some weathered wood distress ink here, and I've got quite a grey paper. So I'm just going to use the weathered wood along the edge just to tie that in. Now I'm well aware that the yellow doesn't necessarily go with this page and I'll probably do something over there anyway for a different prompt. So I've now decided that I'm bouncing around a little bit with the prompts because some of the pages lend themselves to the supplies that I have and I already had some of the stamped images. So I'm just putting a little border edge here just to age it. It gives it some dimension and separates it from the background page. So it's a really nice tuck. I've done stamped images with rubber stamps but I'm going to actually add some postage stamps as well and I've just been looking, picking out the green, I found this really nice vintage stamp there so I'm going to add that one and then I have wanted to bring in the green and the pink and I found some old vintage stamps from New Zealand so they're going to come and live there. I then found this one which I thought was really good um, to link in the yellow but I'm not really sure if I'm going to carry on with yellow but I really like that that's also from New Zealand so I'm, ju I'm just going to keep this here as an idea pin it on and then that might work to link the two spreads together with some stamps so I'm just going to glue that down and uh, put down this really lovely green stamp just put it there a little bit. Uh, yeah, I think I'm happy with that. And then I think we'll just want to be able to read the number. And these, these stamps are things that I pick up at the charity shop fairly inexpensively. I'll just add that in there like that. And I'm just wondering if I need a word. I've got this little label. So I'm just going to glue this down and put it somewhere. Maybe there. Or there. Or there. We want it straight. Yeah, like that. That will, that will do nicely. I don't think I want to do any more to it. If I do, it will be some fabric um, coming in. Maybe a tab out the side. But I think we'll just leave it at that and keep it really simple. And then I want to have some nice simple journaling just to put down some moments. So I've got some stamped images on some scrappy tea stained paper and we're just going to add those in there like that. There we go. And that is number 11 prompt done. And um, I really like that. That's great. Just want something down there. So I just found a little little piece of lace just to, don't know what, don't know why, but we needed that there. Good. There we are, that is stamps for prompt number 11 and that is a really fun tuck for journaling space 
and I've enjoyed that immensely. And thank you very much for joining me as I have settled down and enjoyed a nice relaxed moment with you. So do please like and subscribe to the channel if you'd like to follow along with more videos and um, give me a thumbs up if you thought that that was something you'd like to try. So thank you very much everybody and above everything else just slow down and make crafting time for you. Bye bye now. <laughs>